And welcome back to What If, and this is part five of What If Naruto had stole the scroll, took the scroll of sealing after the Mizuki incident. Now, last time on the What If series of this particular one, we were going through the Chunin exams. Now, uh, with the Chunin exams, we had just basically finished off with the first round, and Sasuke had just shown up, waiting, uh, ready to uh, take on Gara. Uh, Gara. Again, Sas, uh, Naruto and Shikamaru run into Gara. Gara takes out those guys in the hallway. And they warn Sasuke. Sasuke's like, uh, don't worry, uh, don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself when I, when you and I fight later in the tournament, Naruto. Uh, and then the, Sasuke and Gara have their match. That whole match goes the exact same as it does normally. And then Kabuto tries to basically, uh, you know, use the Genjutsu. Naruto is able to snap out of it. Sakura snaps out of it. Uh, Hinata snaps out of it. <clears throat> People can snap out of it. I'll snap out of it. Uh, so then, obviously, they take Gar off because he's not fully transformed yet. And Orochimaru takes, you know, takes the Saratobi hostage. And basically, we have the team of, in this case, um, uh, Hina I actually believe it would be Hinata, Naruto, Sakura, and Shikamaru. And they have Paku leading the charge. And because of the nature of this, um, he actually puts Naruto in charge of the mission. He's like, Naruto, I hate to say it, but you're in charge. <laughs> it's like, you have more experience with like the, uh, with the circumstances surrounding this than anyone else. Kakashi basically just gives Naruto the hint. He's like, oh yeah, I know about the fox, trust me. And I know you know that he's uh, also a demon container. And then Naruto immediately goes, would actually go into serious mode. And be like, hmm. It's like, it's, you got it. It's like, all right, team. Uh, and they basically just says, uh, Hinata, you're falling. Uh, Hinata, fall up the back. Shikama, uh, Shikamaru, you fall. You're uh, you uh, following right behind me. And Sakura, you fall in the middle. And it's like, what? It's like Hinata's Byakugan could give us basically the advantage in the back, so we don't get taken by surprise. Shikamaru's the, the smartest of us, so he's going to be able to uh, give us uh, the best directions. And Nard and uh, Sakura. With, you know, Genjutsu can access straight a quick backup and he can basically bar, uh, give orders uh, to who needs to. And they're all just surprised that Naruto actually is like, that, that was really reasonable and sound for you. It's like, it's like what? It's like, yeah, oh, come on, we gotta go. It's a like, Paku, we'll lead you. All right, let's go. Or, all right, guys, let's go. And then they go off trying to follow, uh, follow Sasuke. Um, you know, and, and I again the, the interaction Sasuke had with like Konkuro and um, Tamari, they're the same. Konkuro and Shino face off. Shikamaru stays behind to uh, hold off those uh, uh, sound ninja. He's tired though, so again it goes the same. Azuma saves his ass. However, Hinata would know for certain they're, that they're uh, they had ninja on their tail, and they would probably say they probably say lay a couple traps as well. Um, wouldn't work out, but ultimately Ozma comes, saves Shikamaro, that all goes the same. Essentially, it goes, it breaks down more or less how it did last time, where Paku leads them to, um, Gara, and Gara's partly transformed at this point, and then right as he's about to, uh, right, and Sasuke can't, uh, manage at the, that next Chidori without, you know, um, really hurting him, or like, uh, pushing himself too much, but, but he's basically near near on the ground and tired out at this point. So then uh, Naruto comes in, sm punches Gara straight back with like, and uses like um, wind style to blow him back. And then like, you again. It's a, and then Hinata and uh, uh, Sakura's like, whoa, they're scared. But Naruto just stands there, you know, staring dead uh, straight at him. It's like, oh, you, there's something different about you. Mother yearns for your blood. It's like, yeah, uh -huh, you mean Shikaku? It's like, and then he just, mm. it's like, how do you know mother's name? How do you know about Shikaku? And then he kind of just flashes his demon eyes a bit and just, <laughs> which again, he probably, they already had that brief interaction with Naruto probably revealed Shikaku to him. But again, he's like, how do you know this? How do you know? This? And then he just flashes eyes like, I see you also have a monster in you. Uh, so please her mother. And then, you know, he tries to, they, basically, Naruto, uh, Hinata and, uh, and Sakura basically try to get, um, uh, Sasuke out of there. Gar tries to basically say, you yeah, no one leaves! And he basically tries to throw the sand at but Naruto, using, using some clones and some wind cell, pushes it out of the way. It's like, it's like, they, they live. this is between you and me, let's go, Shadow Clone Jutsu! And the fight begins, and, Sa and uh, Gar's immediately just, 
you know, cleaving through most of these clones. Naruto's able to get through a little bit, uh, firing some explosive tags at Gara, but he's just... <clears throat> the sand's basically absorbing most of it. Again, the base under the tail is... Um, uh, is where it's weakest, as we found later on. Uh, after he, you know, thousand years of death in the exploding kunai. Uh, but Naruto is, again, trying his best to uh, get through Gar's defenses and offensive, but Gar's just tearing through them. And then he uses a bit of the Fox's chakra as well to power up and just land a straight shot on Gar. And Gar just kind of goes flying back, but grabs Naruto and just, You're not escaping from me, Naruto Uzumaki! And then Archer just busts out with a ta one with a one tail cloak. Is it's, it's like screw you. Then he just suddenly has a Rasengan in his hand, just blasts him straight. Poof, to, and uh, Gar goes straight fly and just Gah! And then he just uh, is it that what was that technique? I almost couldn't absorb it all. And then it's like hey, there's more where that came from. Then he just powers up. With some, has some clones going. Powers up his fist. Fox coat with their tornado fists going on both arms. Let's dance! And then they go toe-to-toe -to -toe again. Gar's able to get through some of them, but he hits a couple of the actual tornado fists and just, it blows his tail back. And then a couple of them actually hit square on. It's like basically, it's kind of like Naruto. It's like, everywhere, who's the monkey? Barrage! But now it's tornado fists. So there's like, oh, I was like, Winston, um, multi-tornado fist! Boom! Just boom! Gar's just, uh, uh, there, no, and then and Naruto's just now standing. Like, it's over. Ah, I'm ending the. I'm ending this gar, and then just it has a tornado fist, right? But also powers up a Rasengan while the tornado fist is going on. And then just, no, not to him, not to him. There's no way I'll lose to a guy like him. And then powers up to Chicago. Like, ah, I was like, oh, I was like, Brett, we got a problem here. You can't use all my power. The best you can do is a two tail cloak, and even then, are going against a full powered Shikaku. That, it might be a problem. You don't have the size or the power to take this guy on, kid. And then the sand's creeping around him, but he's able to keep it at bay thanks to the fox cloak and his wind jutsu. But he's just... Now, as soon as I do you, I'm going to find your little friends and village and kill them all. <laughs> and they just laughs maniacally and they say, Not on my watch, you jerk! And and then, Sabine Jutsu! Gambucha comes up, and at that point, the fight goes about the same. Um, Shikaku wakes up temporarily, Naruto knocks him out. But the difference is, Naruto has more ac access to more chakras, so he's nowhere near in as uh, a bad a shape as he was last in the original fight. So, um, he basically is just, uh, is re still on his feet, but tired out as hell when Himagara had that conversation with each other. And... <clears throat> basically, tomorrow and Conqueror will come and just take him away. And Naruto's just, uh, it's like, oh man, I'm wiped. Meanwhile, Sartobi's dead. All that goes the same. So we cut to the aftermath, essentially, of the rebuilding of the Hidden Leaf Village. Now, what ha if, does anything happen that's different in this? Well, imagine Naruto uh, having his clones. Probably is being useful and actually using his clones to help build things until he has missions available. Um, <clears throat> uh, everyone else is doing their part. I think he and Hinata would just be spending some just general time together. So, while they're doing that, she's adding up missions, you know, they're enjoying each other's company. Naruto's realizing he really hasn't thought, at one point realizes he really hasn't thought about Sakura any, um, more than, uh, you know, as a teammate at this point, and even a brief teammate at that. Uh, so, I mean, uh, as, for all intents and purposes, Naruto is a member of Team 7 at this point. But, Let's not forget a little someone else here. Sai, at this point, has long since been out of the hospital. Danzo was probably watching the fight with Naruto and Hinata. Was, like, impressed that he'd gotten this strong. Could sense a little bit of the fox's chakra when it reared its head just briefly. And, um, yeah, so uh, Sai's back, and he's back with Team 7. And, you know, uh, Kakashi basically says, Oh, well, also, one of you gets her promoted. Uh, you will basically be sticking to Team 7. I mean, Naruto, you... you uh, we don't know what to do. So until something, uh, uh, someone else has an idea of how you're going to be, um, uh, who you're going to be with, you're basically just going to be sticking with T7. And then Sai meets Naruto and just insults him like normal and or like usual. And yeah, he um, it goes about the same as you would expect. I was like, who the hell are you? Why are you talking to me like that? I'll kick your ass and all that stuff. Um, anyway, and then they go off and do their. 
guys, because there's no real missions at the moment. It's a lot of rebuilding. But um, Jiraiya basically said... Then Jiraiya more or less takes Naruto out for his training mission. Uh, it's like, yeah, what else can you teach you? Are you kidding me? There was Senga and the Toju that summoning Jutsu or Bear. Just a t uh, tip of the surface, brat. There's so much more I could teach you if you are willing to learn. Uh, for instance, as I, he actually says, I hear you uh, took an interest in seals. Like, well, there is. I, I can teach you a lot more about seals, kid. I am the probably the best seal uh, seal uh, master in the in the village and one of the best seal uh, seal masters in the world. And it's like, really? It's like, absolutely. It's like that's why. And plus, I can always teach you more ninjutsu and things like that. It's like, oh, all right, all right, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. They go, all right, all right, hey, so let's get out of here. And they go out, and then the whole Itachi thing happens. Uh, this scenario, I don't think Hinata would go with him. I don't think that. Um, I know, I think in the last one, uh, that they did, I did have Hinata go with him. Uh, not in this version, anyway. I think it's just Jiraiya and, uh, Jiraiya and Naruto doing their thing. So, they'll go off, look for Tsunade, um, there'll be the whole Itachi incident. Although, Naruto could fare better against Itachi and uh, Kasami in this, uh, version, they still would be no mash. That all goes the same. Sasuke gets taken out temporarily. <clears throat> then basically we go into the actual training part of it. And Jiraiya basically says, okay, now put your shadow clones in, like, make a, make 300 clones, put them in the three groups. One of you is going to be working on this. One of you is going to be working on that. One of you is going to be working on this. Uh, like the main Naruto and his group are all going to be working on a particular uh, wind jutsu that, uh, well, not wind jutsu, probably more like a fire jutsu because he, Knows that Naruto actually knows fire a lot, and a water jutsu for one of the other ones. And then he's going to have the rest of the reader an advanced book on sealing. Um, <clears throat> so they're going to get that down pretty quick, the sealing. Practice the sealing. What the sealing would be probably is knowing how to, is probably things like um, uh, chakra absorption seals. How to inscribe them on things. How to, like, for instance, inscribing them on Naruto's gloves that he wears. For those of you who haven't, uh, or are just tuning into the series, uh, Naruto's outfit has drastically changed. For instance, he now wears like a burnt orange coat, uh, black pants with an orange stripe, his uh, ninja shirt with like a dark, uh, his ninja mesh with a dark blue shirt, and some black gloves with the seals that hold kunai and shuriken in there. But also now he's probably, would probably have some chakra absorption uh, uh, seals on there. Seals that probably put, like, uh, make his, like, coat fireproof. Things along those lines. So more advanced sealing would be available to Naruto. He would all, they also would probably be practicing a little bit with the fox chakra. Just a little bit. So Naruto would have a better usage of it. And maybe, and Kurama would even say maybe to Naruto that, hey, you've been working, doing pretty well, kid. I'll give you that. So I think you might be ready to try to handle a third tail. They try the third tail. It's difficult for Naruto to keep in control a little bit. Even he realizes that. But he's still able to generally maintain some control. Um, uh, or his control, but he realizes that the third tail is just, it's another level entirely, more or less. Uh, so he's not going to use it unless he absolutely has to, more or less perfecting the usage of the fox, uh, chakra cloak as is. <clears throat> so, meanwhile, uh, they finally, uh, Naruto probably learns, what would he learn? Uh, fire jutsu wise, you know, he knows the dragon fire jutsu, the fireball, and the phoenix flower. I'd imagine he learned, like, like one, a, Defensive type fire jutsu, though few I think exist, or like a firewall, basically just used for like keeping people at bay. And um, uh, sorry, I got distracted by the CV there. And uh, yeah, and what was the other one? Uh, fire jutsu, ceiling jutsu, and what was the third thing I was gonna have him learn? <laughs> oh, water jutsu, because uh, Jiraiya's uh, apparently seen that he's quite skilled with water ninjutsu. So he uh, he knows a water prison, the water. Uh, torrent jutsu, I think it was. Um, uh, the oh, uh, the water shockwave and the water dragon. I imagine he would teach him like the uh, the uh, water torrent jutsu. Like the, um, what was it? Uh, that one he used against uh, that with Zabaza and Kakashi were using that uh, giant like funnel of water uh, technique. So um, that's probably what Naruto learned. At that point, they probably reach the whole uh, the place where they meet Sanai. That whole scenario goes about the same until they go outside. Now, when they go outside, it's like one finger's all I'm gonna need. It's like, oh, I was like, yeah, sure. And then Naruto charges in, uh, and then you know she flicks the headband off. He goes flying. He goes, I can't. She really is that strong. Uh, so she he does a couple clones. Uh, he uses some smoke bombs. She just smacks the ground. 
Uh, and Naruto Power jumps up, and then she sees a couple of them have her Sengons in hand, and she's just shocked to see that technique. Just, the hell? How Did Jiraiya teach him that? How the hell did old brat learn that? And then she's just, again, just using her finger, throws some boulders up. They, Naruto crash through the boulders, and he Sinai just whaps Naruto back, and most of those clones pop out, because Naruto's goes, Naruto goes flying. And I just, ugh. And then she just kind of quickly rushes in, and Naruto just reacts out of instinct, just blasts up using a wind jutsu, and she even gets like, oh, that was a clever diversionary tactic, and then he just throws a kunai down for a smoke bomb, again, it's like, oh no, and then just, she throws it back, and he gets caught in the smoke bomb, he's coughing, and then she comes down, and just comes in and flicks him again, just boom, and so he's more or less down for the count at the moment, but he gets, tries to get back up, and she just, it's got almost like a gun, just, gotcha kid. Uh, it's like, uh, uh, it's like, but what were you doing teaching a kid that jutsu and blah da 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 da, and um, yeah, so it's really just a matter of Naruto and her not getting along and whatever, because there's no, because Naruto already perfected a Rasengan at this point, perfected, got the general Rasengan down at this point. Uh, we haven't seen him. Uh, there's she had, didn't see an incomplete Rasengan, so there's no reason for him to. Uh, her to make a bet with him at this point. Uh, the rest would be Naruto just training, getting some shit down. You're working on some combos like the uh, Tornado Fist as we're saying on which he never fully got off against Gara. Um, which we'll see later. Don't worry. Uh, the whole incident with Orochimaru and ultimately him, her dragging Jiraiya, them going to save um her, and then the though them going to face off against Kabuto and Orochimaru now. When they face off there, Kabuto is just like, Naruto, you have no talent as a ninja. And just, you know, Naruto just, Ugh. but he's keeping his cool for what it's worth. He's just like, don't let him bait you. Like, yeah, I know, I know. So, uh, Jiraiya and Orochimaru face off, and, uh, you know, he tries to summon, he tries to summon uh, Gamba to fail, summons Gamakichi. Naruto actually, you know, using some chakra. And control and just a little bit dab of the foxes, just so no one notices it. Does manage to summon Gamabuto. Oh excuse me. Well maybe he doesn't summon Gamabuto. I bet he was summoning uh get what was it, Gamakiri? The the one who's I'm ungraceful. Um the one with the like the uh the uh, uh Biden and the shield. So I was like, Yeah, not bad, kid. And then uh Hiroshimaru is actually shocked that he actually learned that jutsu, a summoning jutsu. And or at least surprised at any rate. And furthermore, it's like, and he realizes, oh crap, Dry actually has a big summoning now. And quickly takes out the snakes. Meanwhile, Kabuto goes after uh, Shizune and uh, Tsunade, but, uh, uh, or goes after Tsunade. Tsunade and Naruto both get in the way. Um, Kabuto tries to, does the clone thing. Kabuto kicks the clone's asses, mostly. <clears throat> but one clone's able to get through, and Naruto basically just does, again, um, something he's just thinking about, holds a kunai and then channels wind chakra and just kind of whoosh, upward slices um, an attack towards Kabuto, which does cut him a little bit, but he does manage to heal himself. Suzuna has a poison gas cloud. Uh, Kabuto, you know, has a chakra scalpel. Does tag Naruto a little bit, but Naruto's still generally okay. And he's like, I kind of would you know, and then, you know, does a tornado fist, tries to, you know, blast Kabuto. Kabuto does get a little hit, but he's generally fine. And uh, they square off again. Only now Naruto is like, "All right, you want to like, you want to play rough, big boy?" It's like, the bring it on!" It's like, uh, and again, Naruto uh, makes that speech about you know you can't you know dreams can't come true if you're dead and all that stuff. So he uh, uh, Naruto charges the Rasengan, and this time he summons Tornado Fist around it, and again gets tagged. So he'll be kind of down, but Sunai was saving him. But ultimately, um, you know Rasengans and nails Kabuto, who doesn't just get hit with the Rasengan, but gets hit with her nails fist. And he's not just doesn't have that giant wound there. He's shreds. Ugh. So he barely is able to heal, and he's even in worse shape than he was previously. Uh, and then Gami, which causes Gamakiri to disappear, because Naruto pretty much passes out. Um, excuse me a second. Uh, okay. Uh, so, sorry, I had a head of a hangnail there. And then Jiraiya summons Gamabunta. Again, that whole fight goes down the same. And Naruto's surprised to hear that she did accept the position as fifth Okage, but ultimately, you know, he has to accept it, so blah, blah, blah. Uh, so really, what we're going to end with is the whole um, Sasuke and them coming back. 
uh, from that and Nar uh, Tsunade taking up the role as Okage. That's where we're going to leave off. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments from below. Let us know. Do a review of it at some point. I just would win Star Wars, Superhero Magic, whatever, anything I do on the channel. Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll do that at some point as well. Um, yeah, uh, it'll be the week of what if. I'm going to be kind of laid up for a little while. i got a work-related injury. I'm not going to say what it is, but I will say it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know how long I'll be laid up, so I'm just going to be doing videos, keeping focusing on the channel for the time being while I'm kind of cooped up. Uh, I can I can go I can go out and stuff like that. I'm not like limited to the house, but unless I unless I need to, I don't really want to be moving around any more than I have to be. Um, so yeah. Until then though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, now that said though, uh, there will be two reviews this week. One for Glass, but the other's Wednesday. Dragon Ball Super Movie Broly coming out, motherfuckers. You better believe I'm gonna be at Broly. Oh yeah, Broly coming out, Mama. Bad Mama Jam Broly. We're going to enjoy yourself. Now here, it's a pretty awesome movie. Um, so, yeah, can't wait for that. Until then, though, it's going to be the Who Would Wins, my standard Who Would Wins. Uh, there'll be Who Would Win tomorrow as well. What if, throughout the week, because it's the week of. Uh, you know, given the time, uh, we might we should be getting ready for uh, Death Battle to come back pretty soon. And uh, while it's not confirmed, I've got a sneaking suspicion that um, it's going to be Aquaman versus Namor, so... Wait and see for that. Uh, yeah, uh, until then, though, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.